What's up, beautiful people? To Man, I'm in the middle of recording. Oh, okay. How's it going? Uh, it's going good, I guess. <laughs> you guess? Yeah, man. Uh, if you're not liking it, you can do also do the tour. This is an idea. All right. All right, I love you. Um, how far are you? Uh, well, I was about 20 minutes away from the drop yard, so I'm about to drop off the trailer and then head that way. I'm like 16 minutes from the trailer. All right, they sell you the money? Yeah. That's what's up. Okay, bye. See you here. Bye. Bye. That was my honey. He's coming home. Anyways. But let's get back to business what's up beautiful people welcome back to my channel today's video is gonna be about why did i decide to get into trucking so stay tuned what's up beautiful people welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be about why did i decide to get into trucking so if you are interested in listening to that story stay tuned uh, we're getting ready to get started so You guys ready for the story time i don't think you guys are ready uh, my name is mila i am known on instagram as mrs hot chop mac how and why did i decide to get into trucking for those of you guys that are new here me and my husband started a hot shot trucking business a couple of months ago my husband has been hot shot trucking for almost a year now and he was leased on for eight months and then he transitioned so we can have our own authority right after that i decided to transition from my job as you guys saw in the last video into pretty much being full-time into the company so i'm going to talk a little bit about some of the spaces that i'm in um when we started the trucking business we knew pretty quickly that we both needed to have our own roles in the company right so his role is the driver he handles all the truck maintenance everything that has to do with the truck and my role is i handle everything that has to do with the back office dispatching and compliance of our company again we're no experts we're in the learning process i've taken multiple courses so i can become educated in the field in the transportation field do you need to take courses is up to you and <laughs> what you feel you know so me coming from the medical field where i have to do continued education courses every year I was like, okay, it's only fair that I invest in myself and I know what I'm getting into. And it's been a ride, to say the least, um, as far as how much information I have intaked in such a short period of time. I'm gonna show you guys a little something that's become my best friend. Whew. This big ass book has become my best friend. So, maybe this could be a thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> this book, is the FMCSA compliance manual and there is a ton of information on here so if you don't know it get the book and educate yourself I am a, how I say a little bookworm I love to learn and understand how things work I again I don't know everything but I try to understand especially because we have a business I want to understand as much as I can of the business and the industry that we're in. Let's get to it guys. How did I develop this passion for hotshot trucking or trucking period, right? I will say this, I thank my husband first of all because his entrepreneur heart, he always knew that he was gonna own his own business, right? And even though we'd had multiple businesses before and we worked as a team, this is like a whole different beast. Getting me involved and encouraging me to become involved in this and for me to be able to develop this passion, it's just been crazy, like I love it. And being able to quit my job in such a short period of time in order for us to build something from nothing and be able to create a, a legacy for our family and change generational wealth. That's the plan here. We've always looked at things with a mindset of entrepreneurship. And I think that's actually what helped me develop this passion that I have because I initially was not 100%. I was a little bit sketchy. I'm like chucking. I'm not sure where I fit in. I'm a woman. I just don't know. I love to help people. I love to help the community. So I did not know how me as a woman, Mila, how, how was I going to get into the trucking industry and be able to still fulfill 
my needs and fulfill my love because you can do anything in life right but if you don't truly love it or enjoy it and you don't fulfill yourself then what's the point right so i had to when i when i told him i said babe honestly at the beginning where do i fit in i don't know i'm not sure if i'll be able to find a passion for it and then as i started to reach out to people and network and really research a little bit more and really understand the industry i was like wow there's something here there's something big that we can build here so that's how i developed and created all of our resources we have the hotshot trucking 101 in compliance on facebook then we have the hotshot trucking 101 on the clubhouse if you guys are not in the clubhouse make sure you check out the description below and get all those resources as a community that we've created to be able to network and and share value information so at the end of the day we're all growing and bringing our business to the next level so that's really how i got started i got started by tim him encouraging me him showing me what is possible with the industry and then i was like i'm always like 30 percent in but then when i go 100 it's like he's like babe slow down i'm like uh, no you got me into this now i'm 100 percent into this now we're here and we're gonna take this thing to the next level come over here let the people meet you that's my little dog <laughs> that's hope the traveling frenchie she is four years old french bulldog her name is hope she's traveled with us she's traveling on rv for about three and a half years almost four years and now she's here she's done trucking with us so this dog is down to earth anyways yeah i'm getting ready to close out the video i want to say welcome you guys welcome to my channel if you guys are excited about what's to come in this channel because like i said this channel's gonna be litty make sure you drop a like drop a comment turn on your notification bell so that way you get notified whenever i drop a video and go check out my hubby at hotshot mac he also has a youtube channel if you happen to find me first or if you came from his channel thank you for coming here and subscribing to the other side but anyways we are a team we work together also we have a couple of resources if you check the description below we have a facebook group called hot chat Token 101 and compliance go check that out it's pretty much a resource i've created in order to share resources not only myself but the community can share resources on there also we have the clubhouse if you don't know about the clubhouse make sure you download the app it is an audio app it's super fun we usually host rooms there tuesdays and thursdays at 7 30 p.m and sometimes we do pop-up rooms where we just have open mics and open conversation usually it's about trucking hotshot trucking compliance everything in little in between if you want to get into the industry and you just want to tune in and listen make sure you download the app and follow us if you need any resources for trucking check out my description i also have resources out there so i'm um, pretty much as i as we go through this journey called hot chat trucking life and growing a business and i'm gathering all these resources i'm implementing them on my on my resource sheet so if you guys need any resources make sure you check that out so thank you again and i'll see you guys in the next video so stay tuned